let's face it, Miami is a great place to hang out at. People move there, people go out there and party, a lot of rich people, and of course, <laughs> it's a lot of beautiful women. I would have to say outside of LA and, um, and maybe New York City, Atlanta, is probably the king in having you know some of the most attractive ladies in the world come there because it's a lot of money there and a lot of people like to hang out there. So no doubt, Miami is the truth. However, a lot of rich guys, man, in Miami, they go out there and, you know, they, they, they do too much, right? And what I'm saying with that is, Miami's one of those cities where you want to stand out. People have their nice cars, their nice homes, and sometimes, as men, we like to stand out and let people know what we got. It's one of the best ways to do that, jewelry. Unfortunately for this one guy, he didn't know somebody had his number. Let's play that clip and find out. Caught on camera, police in Miami are searching for this woman after they say she drugged a man and stole more than $600,000 in Rolexes and other jewelry. Thanks for joining us here on Law & Crime. I'm Anjanette Levy. The surveillance video of this suspected thief is crystal clear. It shows her in an elevator leaving that apartment building in Miami on May 8th. Take a look. You can see the woman holding two solo cups. The man who reported the theft says he met this woman at a bar and brought her home with him around 5.30 a.m. Police said the man told them they had one drink and then he fell asleep. He awoke around noon and found his safe had been cleaned out. Police believe the woman may have drugged the man and then took the solo cups so her DNA wouldn't be left at the scene. Among the items stolen, a Rolex Daytona rainbow watch with diamonds, a Sky Dweller Rolex and gold chain, Franco gold bracelets, Cartier sunglasses, and a rose diamond ring. If you recognize this woman, call Miami police. So I just wanna say this, right? This has been happening a lot in Miami. And I know at first this was happening a lot in like Columbia, but now this is happening a lot more in Miami. Whereas women are drugging guys, guys who are rich. And again, I just don't understand why somebody who would have a lot of money for me would number one, have $600,000 of jewelry in a, in a, in a hotel. It, it beats the hell out of me. Why? And then why would you go out and let somebody come into your hotel that's going to be there with you that you don't know? That's crazy to me. But this is what people are doing. And I want, I want, I want guys to understand this. If you guys thought for any kind of second in this America or anywhere in the world that you're going to do very well and women don't notice it, you're crazy, bro. All right. Women notice almost every successful guy. I don't care if you think that you, you know, you sliding through the cracks, bruh, people know if you're doing well, all right? But then if you put it out there as a target, man, you gotta understand that it took a lot to be you. Listen to what I'm saying, man. It took a lot to be you. For you to get some money to the point where people recognize you for that, it probably took you years, years of being broke, years of reinvesting, all of that stuff, right? And then to basically show it to people who it didn't take them no years to do it. Like these people don't care about you. And I, I try to tell men all the time, especially a lot of brothers in the black community where, you know, we're coming from a situation where most of us don't come from money. So once we get some money, you know, we, we out here trying to let everybody know, look, this will be working with, we got this, we got that X, Y, and Z. But the reality is that a lot of times, man, I found this out. You be inviting the wrong kind of people into your life, man. Um, that's just real. A lot of times we're out here showing what we have and the people who, you know, we trying to really impress or hang out with, they don't mean it's no good, bro. Even if you didn't get robbed, right? Let's just say you went in there, you smashed, you left. It wouldn't have really did nothing for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, you smashed her, but you know, look at what she, she, she got a chance to meet you. It ain't like, you know, she deserved to be there. And that's the, that's the price we gotta pay as men, right? The price we pay as men is when we let people inside of our venues or inside of the avenues that they shouldn't be in, we're the ones that always pay. 
Like that's something that I really, really, really realized that, right? When you let women or people into your house or just into your life, they're not supposed to be there. They're always gonna cause problems, bro. People who don't come from the same walk of life as you, always gonna be hella conflict. It's always gonna be like, I don't care how fine they are, they never going to understand. They're always gonna cause problems because they never had to be you. This is the reason why you see people like Jonathan Majors, look at what he's doing right now. Jonathan Majors is dealing with who? Megan Good. Wanna know why? Because him and Megan Good have the same standards, the same morals. Bro, you're not gonna be out there getting that rich, working your ass off over these years. At first you'll date hella broke women or whatever, but then you're gonna get tired of that, man. I keep telling guys all the time, you're going to be tired of that, bro. Like you're gonna get tired of that eventually. And this is what I'm saying, man. If you're gonna be super rich, hey, you gotta control situation. Look, you know, like how Drake do it. The way Drake does it is the best. When basically um, he gets some money, or he gets some chicks, he got people that, that screen him from what I've been told. Then he let them come through. He don't even talk to them that much at first. Then, then he'll go in and start dealing with them, you know, like that, right? And um, that's just something that a lot of guys gotta understand, man. When you get rich and you get money, you you gotta protect that. And you cannot have strange people around you just because you have money. Listen, man, people can say anything now. He, he graped me. He did this. He did that to me. He did X, Y, and Z to me. You know, people don't gotta tell the truth. And then that's you, you know what I'm saying? On the flip side, where you gotta defend yourself. You know, now you're willing to like, you know, you gotta get a lawyer now, all of this. You have to go and defend yourself against this person. But the reality is, is that she shouldn't have been there or he shouldn't have been there in the first place. That's something that guys gotta know. When you start getting money, like you would never see Jay-Z, let's just say even if he was single, you'd never see Jay-Z moving like that. You know what I mean? Never. Guys get rich and go and go and go around the sharks and show off to the sharks. Yeah, look what I got, man. I'm out here doing a bit like, bruh, 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 no. No, 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 no. You never do that, all right? Ever, man, never. Then let them into your spot. You wake up and everything gone, $600,000? I mean, that's why, you know, 304 is always gonna be having some money, man, because you're gonna always have a dummy. <laughs> always gonna have dummies, bro, in the world. And it's crazy, man. Like, look at how much it takes to be you. You feel me? But this is why I tell you, and also this stuff happened in Colombia, man. I see it happen to guys in the DR. Like, man, like, just to impress some chick who ain't got something, can't do it, bro. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again for another episode of The Slippery Junk. Which is probably you do the bell. We're out.